Hi friends, this is Sai Tejai Reddy, co-founder at Sai Masters LLP and this is Ahmad Sharif, co-founder at Sai Masters LLP. Today's topic is about automation and control course in the University TU Kaisal Autran. Like students who wanted to apply for this course are usually from electrical and computer engineering students has to apply. When you want to apply to a course, like kindly go through the admission criteria, whether you fulfill complete admission criteria or not. If you're not fulfilling the admission criteria, better don't apply because you will waste your application money. And apart from this, this application is done through own portal when you are applying through own portal go through all the conditions before deadline this course can be applied in two semesters like winter semester and summer semester for summer semester the deadline is 31st october and for the winter semester the deadline is 30th april so the application fees is 60 euro for this course and you have to pay the fees and you have to download that receipt and you have to upload in the portal before the deadline and you have to submit the application before the deadline if you are filling complete application you are not submitting the application before 30th april your application won't be considered even though you have paid your application fees so before deadline you can revoke the application like if you have done some errors and while you go through in the application you, you have remembered some errors need to be re rectified so you can revoke the application again you have to resubmit the application for the consideration and this course doesn't have german requirements while applying but the a1 exam has to be completed before within the first year of the studies after going for uh, studying at uk so even though while studying it is not mandatory but within one one year you have to submit the a1 uh, german certificate the sop has special rules and word limit for this so usually sop standards have been uh, like in the portal they have given the criteria like how has to be written let us consider a few rules i wanted to uh, share like these are few rules which help you to write a better sop like why this course you have chosen don't write stories don't write like since you like or something like be as a scientific student approach like you have to be like an approach towards that course has to be like a scientific student like if you are studying it what three best things you can contribute towards that course and what best three things you can learn from that course and till date what is the research being done in the world and what what is your uh, approach towards that research and up to which mark you have approached to that uh, research and if you can able to incorporate the university professors or the students or postdocs till how much contribution they have done and which one is specifically motivated you to choose this course this is the specific way of approaching the uh, sop and you have to write the statement of purpose within the word limit if the word limit is given as thousand words you have to write within the thousand words they should have been a structure need to be followed how we will approach a scientific paper similar way have an a format first why this course then what you wanted to contribute why why this university and what you want to learn in this university and what you want to contribute through your course and what course contributes to you in this way you have to follow one by one the structure 60 euro application fees has to be paid before the deadline 30th april deadline means you can't pay on the 30th april and you can't pay on the 27th april also if the 27th april is mean friday it won't reach to the university and if you can't upload the pdf receipt in the, in the uh, portal uh, then you can't submit the application so if you paid on 27th also if you can generate a pdf and you can upload it and you can submit it if there is any issue if i had not reached to the university then it becomes a problem then you have to approach again the course coordinator and it depends the course coordinator will accept it or not so till the last three working days don't keep your application fees payment kindly pay it before itself and make sure that this pdf has to be uploaded in the portal on beforehand and remember if any errors has been done before the deadline you can revoke the application and we can resubmit the application kindly remember that if you have revoked the application and you have not resubmitted the application your application will not be consideration for the master studies for automation and control mechanical students have been uh, considering uh, to apply and many students been asking why can't i apply for this course in the master studies you have few subjects and if you have not got 24 credits from the automation and control you can't approach it and you don't have coding language better go to the admission criteria in admission criteria if it is given that 65 percent coding knowledge is mandatory you should have the coding knowledge if you have one year of working experience few universities consider your working experience as coding knowledge but few universities don't consider so this has many criteria to be considered so 1.7 minimum grade is being considered for applying this course so if you don't have 1.7 grade i think 60 euro which you have been investing on the application fees gets wasted how can you know the grade is 1.7 you can use bavarian formula uh, or you can get your grades converted in german uh, like other applications through universities you can get to know your grade and uh, if it is less than 1.7 it's good less than 1.7 means 1.6 1.4 1.3 these courses can be considered one more than 1.7 like if it is considered as 1.9 or 1.8 i think it's not suitable to apply because their criteria is 1.7 if you fulfill the criteria then you approach towards the application or else uh, don't apply for this course so when you are applying for tuk like automation 
control course where mentoring helps is while you are applying for this course in this own portal there are a criteria where you will be asked for the subjects like how much of theory you have studied and how much of lab is been studied in your bachelor's course for example electrical engineering and basics computer architect operating systems digital circuit design hardware description languages microelectronics control theory systems theory digital signal processing robust control let us consider an example of digital circuit design covered by which all subjects in your bachelor's you have to list it in that box the provided in the portal and you can fulfill until the word limit after that it's fine if you can't fulfill if even the most subjects are there it's fine but contained lab courses they will ask no lab courses or 25% of lab courses 50% of lab courses 75% of lab courses or 100% of lab courses so if your course has only theory let us assume you have five subjects with two theory of 100% or two subjects with 50% of theory then you have to keep relatively how much of labs you have so this is not just like filling the application forms where mentoring support is needed to discuss and finalize about the subjects for filling the ECTS or filling the uh, the course which have been uh, asked by specific university like this who all want professional service from it's my masters kindly approach us the uh, address and the contact number is given in the description hope this video helps for all the students and this amma sharif signing off bye bye VFS special services so if you opt for sms service stay up to date on the progress of your application with regular sms updates the sms service keeps you in the loop at all the times and sends you an automated message to your mobile phone at a key stages of the application process which means no needless worry no long periods of uncertainty and no wondering about the status of your application please note these updates are currently only available in english